Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Caroline and I are up this morning. Wet hair in it. I mean, you know, this is just my new thing here in Florida. My hair is naturally curly, so we just work with it. All this humidity and stuff, and we just came off vacation, so I'm just kind of like, eh, it's lucky to be washed. Because <laughs> I got laundry get caught up on my house. Like, you know, men don't always mop or just... I don't know. I came in yesterday and my house smelled like butt. <laughs> like, and he's yeah, like, Yeah, it really did. It did. And he's like, No, it does. I was like, Caroline. And she's like, You know, it smells. I even came in I was like, It smells like poop in here. Yeah, it smelled like dirty butt. But, like I don't know if the dog is just dirty because I've been the one bathing the dog since Josh has been down and stuff and I just haven't been home. I don't. I don't know what was going on because obviously he doesn't cook for himself. So he's been eating out. I'm not. So there wasn't dirty dishes or. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to pretend to know. But anyways, you know, Mom Bear's got to just kind of Clorox the house and get things tidied up. This is Christian's last week of school. He's super excited, but then he's like, he's like, I'm gonna miss my friends, but, but bye. He pizza. likes school. He finally likes school, but he flat out tells us it's still not the UK. It's still not the same, but like at least we can get Tim to like it, right so liking good. is a start in the right direction but he's still like next year mom I want you to homeschool me so <laughs> I'm like, okay we'll talk about that Ron and I are heading out we have been talking to Michaela this morning telling her to vlog too so I guess something happened where she did one vlog and and broke Jacob's Wi-Fi she tried to upload the video the like um update like the right. us fl her flying by herself when she got there and it kind of broke the wi-fi he said it broke the wi-fi like i was facetiming him and he's like yeah she broke my wi-fi how's that happen like it don't even make sense to me but he's like it just went out and so i don't know i guess he's encouraged her not to vlog I I don't know guys so we are still encouraging her to vlog and this send them across the pond to Caroline's phone and maybe we can edit them for her or at least send us some clippings so we can put it in because that was the whole point she was supposed to vlog and I knew she was gonna do this if you're watching this Michaela I knew you were gonna do this you little stinker <laughs> it's okay to vlog in front of Jacob Jacob used to vlog with me so I don't understand that like me and him used to do like the American versus the British content so I don't know anyways Today's video is not about that. Today's video is about Caroline. We are going to do what? What are we going to call it? We're going to do a thrift for me part two. Yeah, a thrift for me part two, but it's going to be a thrift for me part but, one. because yeah. I did one at Goodwill and it just was not good. But I'm going to go to play this closet because I'll actually like probably find something there I like. So. I joked like, with the girls. Ago. I was like, I personally used to love a good flea market. Ten cent dishes, Michelle is all on top of that. Like, I love a good deal. And there's something exciting about finding that deal. That's why I love Black Friday. And my husband jokes and he's like, it's not a true deal. It is to me. And ten cent dishes are a true deal. But Plato's Closet to me is just not truly thrifting. But it is, in a sense. It's used. So, Caroline, let's go see if we can find some good stuff. Okay. They're now bagless. Hi. Wait, these well, are the ones that these are the brand new ones like the that sold out. Yes. What are they called? The crisscross. Yes. I might have to get these. I like those. And these are only ten bucks. Yeah, I like those. And I have. I'm gonna have to get these. They don't look picked or anything, right? No, they're so brand new. Somebody just must not like the way they fit, or just made the TikTok and got rid of them. <laughs> I know. I like the way they fit. My right. favorite like it.
guys. So we're back in the car. Caroline spent $93. $3. But she got some really nice stuff. And some stuff that has like brand new that still has price tags on it. This Nike. Like this is a Nike, like the, um, what are they called? Like a one piece set yes. with tags. It still is brand new, 60 bucks. She got it for $10. Her next best piece, like this is the steal of the day. I don't know, this Nike set might it's be really good. the steal of the day. But, go ahead Caroline. So, as you guys probably know, these leggings Famous. were sold out everywhere because this one girl's video went viral with her wearing them. So the viral crisscross like airy leggings. And I already have a pair of them that I bought myself and they're the brown ones like this. So I was like, you know, why not buy these? Um, normally they're 30 bucks. I got them for $10. They look brand new. Yeah, and they're the, the half length ones too, which is so ironic because that's the ones that I wear because they're super short. So they're like meant for me. Okay, and so this next item I got are called, I gotta find it, Bali Total Fitness. I've never heard of this brand, but I'm guessing brand it's new. a higher brand because, I mean, they still have like the price tags on it. This is how much they are originally. And then I got them for $18, so I'm guessing they're more of like a higher brand and they're legit brand new, like. So cute, and, white leggings. Yeah, they're white leggings. I don't, I'm not really a fan of the pockets. Like I'm just, like I don't know. Like I feel like I can dress leggings up and I think they look better if they don't have like anything to them. But I mean, I'm still gonna wear them with like just a plain crop top and some sandals, so I didn't really care. But yeah, they're brand new leggings, like, and they fit like a glove, so that's good. Okay, so this next piece I found is this Hollister tank top. Hollister's normally 30 bucks already, and I got it for $10, and it looks legit brand new. Like, it fits really well, and as you can tell, I'm into tank tops, like, I like for the, the summer. And plus, I can just slip them on with blue jean shorts, too. Like, I can just wear blue jean shorts, and it's like, a, like an outfit within itself, because the tank top's really cute. Cute. So I'm going to slip it on with a pair of blue jean shorts and call it a day. So I really liked this one. It might go with these. So she got these. These are Aeropostale American also. American Eagle. Oh, American Eagle. They look brand new also. And like I could for, probably wear it together. For 10 bucks. And this like, was 10 bucks as well. Super cute. I mean, there's no picks, no there's stains. No I love these. These were adorable. Brand new. I did get me some. I think these are American Eagle. And for 10 bucks, and these look, look brand new. Look brand new. The next item I got was this like flowy shirt. It's from Kmart, and I didn't even know Kmart's existed anymore, but obviously they do. And it's from Adam Levine, and I didn't know Adam Levine actually had his own clothing line. I know. Which, unless that's not the Adam Levine we're thinking of, but yeah. It's so cute. It's so soft. Again, looks brand new. New. new for six bucks and it still has the price tag on it actually oh. brand new items originally it's 15 it was marked down to nine and i got it for six and i love stuff like this to slip on with like leggings or like anything like shorts tucked in really cute call it like a this is what casual you wear. outfits and i just love it like i love stuff like this so this was a big steal for me with the bralette this is one of my favorite pieces of hers this cute little tube top mm -hmm. and who is this cotton on Cotton on, which is expensive, guys. The cotton on can be expensive for five bucks. Again, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is close to being brand new. Like it has no stains, no nothing. It's super cute, no pick, no length. I got pretty much everything with price Looks tags on new. it, besides like four items that I did not get. And then this also has a price tag on it. I don't know how much originally this is, but it's a two piece. It's from a boutique, and this is a skirt that I got. It's like really tight fitting and then it kind of flares out at the bottom but it's super cute on. Like I love it. The top is like a wrap around. So this is the new thing. Like Janet everybody is doing it. Finally we got it wrapped around her neck and it just kind of wraps and comes over and it looks it does look super cute. It's a little risque for mom but on her she's so tiny. And I'm such an itty bitty so titty cute. committee so it's like nothing's gonna ever fall out I feel like. like I don't think that is gonna fall out. It's just pushing limits of how much it's showing. And I think that's everything that I really got. I think everything was such a steal that I got. You did. Like everything was pretty much brand new that I got and I didn't even realize that until I got to the car. I was like, wait, this is still I know. And when she was checking out, I was like, Caroline, who spends $90 at Plato's Closet? But then after I see her haul and everything is still brand new and you're getting Nike and like name, name brand yeah. with tags, 
Yeah, it wasn't bad. Because like you said, the outfit of Nike right there alone had a $60 price tag. It was price a $60 tag. price tag, and I got it for $10. Bucks. $10. Bucks. So, so I got it for like $50 off. For all a good haul. It really like, was. You did well. but. And all this yeah. stuff will not just sit in my closet. Not I'm actually like going to wear clothes. this stuff. All right, guys, so we're going to end this vlog here. Hopefully you enjoyed spending the morning shopping with us in our little vlog for Plato's Closet. And I guess we will see you in the next. And as always, wait to see what I'll do next. Bye. Bye.